I uh, am a second generation Korean Canadian, so my parents immigrated here from Korea and I was born here with my brother, my sister Goy and Danny. So we grew up in Stony Creek, so we were like the only Korean family there. And the only time we ever hung out with other Koreans was when we went to church, when we were forced to go on Sundays. So when I was 14, I think I was 14, um, we were going to Open Gate, which was in downtown Hamilton. And uh, my parents forced us to go to this conference called Vision X, um, where all the English ministries from the Korean churches in the area basically got together. There's this one non-Korean, and he happens to be the speaker. He was Pastor Marvin. And uh, yeah, he was a really powerful speaker, and he really, um, he, he made it like very um, emotionally affecting the sacrifice of Jesus and how important it was to make a decision. So at the height of the sermon, he did an altar call and I go up in tears, feeling like it was the right thing to do. And um, I officially became a Christian. Um, so I came back to school and, you know, I was still like super awkward, but I was like awkward with a purpose, right? Because now I was going to convert my friends to Jesus. I remember I like tricked one of my friends into going to a delirious concert. I think in those first few years, I made a lot of mistakes. Um, and over the years, I just changed the types of mistakes I was making. But God has been really faithful in in meeting me in all of those um, and showing me more about who he is and how it's never simple and how it's really hard to be about extreme about anything except the love of Christ. I know I'm over three minutes, but I kind of wanted to read something. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, nor the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, neither awkwardness nor misplaced fervency, neither isolation nor cultural barriers, neither, neither quarter-life crises nor habitual skepticism nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mm. It's because it's mostly the Bible. Yeah.